Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? All good? Can we do that if we are all good? Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. So my name is Matt and I've been working for the last three weeks with all the post-16. And so basically we've been working yeah, on the, the concept of sexual consent. So we created a lot of artworks, but I made a final painting that the post-16 helped me to paint and I'm going to show it to you now. I'm actually an artist and today all of you, you are artists. We are going to do a first exercise which is going to be so much fun, yeah? We're going to write our name in art. Okay guys, I want to see some colors now, please. Let's use all these beautiful colors. Put the colors in your letters with any shape you want. One letter in orange, one letter in pink, one letter in green, yeah? Oh, I like it. Different shapes. Let's put some yellow. Yeah, more yellow. Oh, I love that then. So pretty. I want to see some color inside the letters and also to do the outlines. Okay? Great, Zach. That's wonderful. Super. And you too? What a beauty. Children with learning disabilities are far more at risk of sexual exploitation. Um, so they obviously need more input to learn. And I think doing things practically, like the art, helps them to gain an understanding of things rather than just always doing it based on paper and that kind of thing. And I think this project, particularly around consent, this is something we work on all the time so they understand that they have to give consent and the other person has to give consent so they understand what's acceptable and what's not acceptable and what they can say yes to and shouldn't say yes to. Can any of you tell me if you had any sexual experience before? The reason why I'm asking you that is because when you come to your adult life, yeah, it might come to a point where you have to make a choice of choosing to have a sexual experience or say, no, I don't want it. You decide because your body is private. I'm going to give you this piece of paper. I'd like you to decorate the letters with the color of yes and the color of no. So now, for example, I'm going to ask you to give me consent to give you a high five, yeah? If you tell me green, we can high five. If you tell me red, I don't high five. Green or red? Green. Yes! yes. Exactly. Yay. Ben, would you like a high five, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It sounds exciting. <laughs> 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 Green or red? Green, please. Destiny? Okay. And I want you to do that because I want you to understand how important consent is. Did you enjoy all of it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you like to see me next week? Yeah. You did really, really well. And I'm very grateful for your kindness towards me. Okay? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. At the beginning, I didn't know where we were going with it. Um, I look after a child at, in, this, in this class. When I first got with her, she was very angry. She didn't uh, vocalize what was going on in her mind. and. She used to be very aggressive towards us and other staff. So in the end, I was like, you need to get it out of what's in your head. So she started to draw on herself. And that was her way of explaining to me what was going on in her mind. So she used to draw big pictures on her arms and stuff like that. And then we moved it onto paper and then we got her a scratch book. And then if she can't tell me what's going on in the day, she'll draw me what's going on in the day. And then I can sort of read the picture like we would read a book. So now I'm going to put all the 30 pieces of the puzzle, of the mural, together so they will understand that this is uh, the surface we are going to work on, which actually is going to be displayed on this wall later on in the back. But today we're going to do something very fun, which is to prime the wall together. 
when I paint walls, every wall has to be prepared first. It's primed. So today, <laughs> together, we are going to prime this, all this piece of wood behind you, okay? And I got mini rolls for all of you to all prime your own piece. Is that okay? Harvey, I will show you first, and then you can do it, okay? We put the roll, we roll it, and then, you paint it. You gonna go? No. Harvey's gonna do it. I think you can do it. <laughs> Very slowly. Yes. Oh. Great. Do you want to put some more paint? No. Come on. Perfect. Super. Let's get someone else. So our children are very, very vulnerable um, in the wider world. A lot of them just have school as their life, that's it. Um, a lot of them have carers to help them with their personal care and those sort of things. So they're incredibly vulnerable and at a very high risk of sexual harm. Um, and what we teach at Milford is the importance of, it's okay to say no to somebody doing something to you, um, to somebody touching you and understanding what's private and public. It's okay to say no and it's okay to change your mind um, just so that they can lead safe lives for them in a relationship as well as them displaying behaviours towards other people and understanding that they need to ask for consent. Just put it and roll, that's it. Amazing, that's wonderful. Harvey, I think you deserve another one. So this is going really well um, with the kids. You can see how engaged they are. Um, it's lovely to see students like Harvey joining him. He doesn't normally join in a group session. He'll sit on his own and has a very short attention span. And he's just really focused and engaged um, painting and being part of the project. He's, you know, it, it's, it's joined all those different abilities together and it's accessible to every student. First of all, I'd like to give you a massive round of applause to all of you. Can you please clap for yourself? I think you've been wonderful, and I thank you so much for having painted the squares that are going to form the mural, and also having to start talking to me and creatively about consent. I'm gonna be back next week, and next week we are going to paint the world together. The first part, okay? Would you like a high five? Yes, please. We'll see you next week. See you next week. That's it, eat up, eat up. <laughs> Sakaru, you're doing really, really well. Wait, boys. Wait, Wait. boys. Wait, sit. <laughs> Jason said they're goats, not dogs, Sak. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Sak, I think they think you're the best goat boy. <laughs> And when they first come to us, they wouldn't let us anywhere near them. So this is great that they've started to come closer. They seem very close to the children, actually. And they learn loads from it. They take all their bed out, all the food out, all the water out, and okay. learn what it's like to look after animals, don't you? It gives them a, um, something to look after. Who's your favourite goat? Our goat is Socks, which is this one with the pink collar, post-16s. Oh, OK. So every class has a goat? Every key stage. They're very hungry, huh? <laughs> oh, no, not all over. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Get off. Oh. See, guys, this is a design we are going to paint. Yeah, Zach, look. Yeah, we are going to paint that today. Okay? And let's come now all together here. So, Harvey, with this, we're going to paint here and here. Okay? Very slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay? So, now, next. You're going to paint here until the line. Uh, yes. Okay? Thank you, uh. <laughs> Both of you, okay? You go until the line. Yeah? This one, this one. Okay, you do the next one. It's a very small part, but I want you to be very careful. Yeah. Okay? So I'm going to start for you. Not on a big bit. No, in the small bits. This one and that there. No, you are only 
Just this one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Not okay. No, 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 just from here towards you. I just wanted to say congratulations because you painted. Yes. And look, it started to look really good, yeah? Yeah. Now it needs to dry. I'm going to come back next week. And what you see here is going to be the mural entirely painted like this. Yeah? And when I come back, you guys are going to put it together like a puzzle. Can you tell me if you enjoyed it? Do you liked it? Yeah. You liked it? What about you? Yes? Can you give me a real yes? Yeah! Do you like the painting? Yes or no? Pick one. Yes or no? Okay. Amazing. Well, I really, really enjoy working with you. I think we had so much fun. You've done so much creativity. And I hope you can remember the most important message is you can say yes, and you can say no, and it's okay to say no. And also, it's okay to change your mind. Yeah? So, last week we did some painting, and I continued what we started together. I painted the letters about the message of sexual consent. And you will see, they will beautifully start to um, fit together like a puzzle. Here we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> They're such a warm and welcoming group, which is just a privilege to kind of be part of, really. I've heard some really, really fantastic feedback from the young people. They feel that, that Matt, the artist, has been absolutely brilliant with them, kind of working in a really sensitive and caring and thoughtful way throughout. I mean, the feedback I've heard so far has been fantastic. Young people were over the moon. I think to see their contribution. Now, because this is a, a mural, it's quite large. It's going to be quite tricky to kind of move around. Um, the idea with this is that we're going to produce some smaller puzzles, movable puzzles, that can be physically taken to, to the other venue um, and then be part of a very interactive piece of work with young people so they can not only see the fantastic final result, but also have those really, really important messages about consent along the way. I know you haven't worked with kids like ours before, and I think you've just been a natural. And I think we've really enjoyed working with Matt, haven't we? been really friendly and he's coming yeah. every week and made us all smile. So can we have a big round of applause for Matt? Thank you. Thank you. And my patrons, this will be a bit of artwork that stays with Milford for a very long time. And we'll all just think, remember that time. Remember that time that we had them in. So thank you very much. And come thank back you. and visit us anytime. We'll have some more artwork done. Finally, I want a big clap for my class who've made this beautiful. Yes. <laughs> The biggest disability in this world is us, is the people that don't understand our children. Our, ch our, our world is not built for autistic children, it's built for normal people, not for them. So for have people like me and the rest of our team that understand their needs and understand the, the noises and the sounds, that makes their day amazing. Whereas if we put them in, a, if they were in a normal setting, in a normal school, mainstream, those people wouldn't be trained and they wouldn't understand that the light's too bright in this room, there's too many things on the wall for that child and yeah, it's massive, I love my job. <laughs>